Tonight, we have for you a brand new True Stories. Yes, official. We here live in Cooper Projects, Brooklyn, man. We came out for the Joel Ortiz music video shoot. You know what I'm saying? Directed by Rick Cordero. You see the man right here. You know what I'm saying? What up? Yeah, what's good? What's going on, boss? Explain what the video was all about. You had your family out here. Yeah, you yeah. had the you not, not even the hood. You had everybody that supports you out here. Look at look, yeah, look, yeah, look, yeah. look. Mr. Chestnut right there. The, we got him in the hovercraft, yeah. man. <laughs> Showing support. This is real out here. There ain't That's no real. fakeness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, you, so now you're the one of the main characters in um Rick Cordero's movie, you know what I'm saying? Right. How does it feel to get your is that your first main acting role? Or? That's my first main acting role, Understood. correct. I mean, I thought it would be harder than what it was. I ain't toot my own horn, but um, <laughs> The, the, the fact of the matter, you know, working with Rick Cordero on, on hip hop videos, yeah. you kind of short, shooting short films. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Magic. I was kind of prepped for it being that I worked with Rick. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, his videos are not just, I right, stand here and rap. I'm playing <laughs> roles in, in my videos and stuff like yeah. that, too. So I was pretty much seasoned enough to, you know, do pretty well on, on, on my uh, role in the movie. So I'm excited about that. You know what I'm saying? Yo, talk about this song you just shot right now. Well, the name of it, the concept, of everything. Yeah, well, the name, of the, the name of the record is How to Change. Yeah. It's for the video, for uh, Rick's uh, movie called uh, Inside of Change. All right. And, um, you know, he just asked me to, you know, write something touching, you know, uh, talking about, you know, because, you know, the bottom, you know, the storyline of the movie is a kid, you know, brought up pretty decent or whatever, mm -hmm. makes a bad decision, and, you know, he ends up having to go to jail or whatever and Understood. stuff like that. So. My, my story is a lot similar to that, except, I, you know, God bless, I didn't end up in the can. Um, you know, so I basically painted a picture on the song, you know, talking about the struggles of life and, you know, what, what some, some things, you know, some things that I had to do, being that I came up poverty stricken, that, yeah. you know, that I might have not you know, necessarily been proud of, but it had to be done. And I just wanted everybody to relate to it. So I had my family out here and stuff like that and all the people in the community. Yeah. We was cooking out and stuff so that we could all celebrate the fact that we still here because, you know, a lot of our friends and family is gone. Yeah, free food at the Joel Ortiz music day. video shoot. You know what I'm saying? Hot dogs and Franks uh, and uh, burgers. Free 99. Free 99. Free 99. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to the lady that tried to get me for a dollar. I got you, though, in two weeks. I, I saw the Sub-Zero DVD. I have to shake your hand. Thank you, my brother. I saw I saw you at Crystal's. Represent for Brooklyn. Right, right. I said, yes! One of the one of the rare nights where I just unwind, <laughs> relax. You know what I'm saying? Are you, are, are you a sir that respects the, the churches? What we call it. Oh, uh, <laughs> Yo, anybody that looked at that, please understand that was not Joel Ortiz balling. That was somebody from the project celebrating a chance to get out of there for a second. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I don't, I don't want to gloat or brag or do anything. But no, you were having fun with my boys. It was my uh, release party. And I was having fun. What up? Cats was knew I was coming out here. They wanted to know, because originally they said Nino Bless was on a song. They want to know what happened with that situation. Was he supposed to be part of the group or? Uh, I, I don't. I don't think Nino Bless was ever going to be a part of the group. That was uh, Joe Buttons was. Uh, that was Joe Buttons' dude at the time. All right. I think it's still a dude. I don't know where they stand or whatever. But he was. He just happened to be on that record. But the conference calls and everybody involved. Me, Joe Button, Royce the Five Nine, and Crooked Eye. Understood. Never involved uh, Nino Bless as far as a member. Of the understood. Group. Just to clear clarify it up. Uh, yeah. Understood. Yeah. Now yeah. We, you got to rhyme, brother. Slaughterhouse is going to force everybody to rhyme, like because deep down, I, all right, if you making money, you yeah. know what? You making money. Nobody can take that away from you, but the rapper in you knows you want to be called the nicest, and we're not allowing that. <laughs> we're not allowing that. You can have all the guap all you want, the chicks around or whatever, but when you're not getting mentioned in the same breath as other rappers as being a nice dude, it's going to hurt you, it's going to hit you here. We know that, and we're going to keep hitting y'all with that. Oh, I'm the funniest dude in the slaughterhouse. I'm the funniest, I might be one of the funniest dude in rap. <laughs> I'll be honest with y'all, I'm going to really let y'all y'all peek in. Y'all yeah. going to see what's going on with the between the Joel Ortiz free agent album, between the uh, Slaughterhouse stuff and all the... Uh, yo, I'm the, I might be one of the funniest dudes in hip-hop. Nobody got more jokes than me. Like, if we was to drink one-on-one, I'd cut anybody up. So Joe, so Joe Buttons is um, zero and one million against you. If Joe Buttons is done. He won that race. That was... <laughs> you better take that race to the bank. That'd be the last thing he won. Top five with the murder rate. We take lives and never give them back. They invertebrate. We murdered eight ball jackets and triple fat gooses. Snatch three patches and you can run that hat, stupid. <laughs> yeah. we took great True stories of radio.
music and it kept growing till this day it's a huge movement it's only slow when you drop the school the birthplace of this hip hop four finger rings rope chains in a big box 40 to the brain a decent sized marker so everyone saw your name before you got off the train hey, hey. 